Sawadee krab, I'm JP Mastanza, and today is Wednesday, November 6th. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by pdcphuket.com. More Patong motorcycle taxi drivers in the news as local police called in several drivers on Tuesday night to tell them what is deemed to be appropriate behavior after another video circulated on social media. The video in question showed two motorbike taxi drivers at a queue at the end of Bangla Road sitting and drinking alcohol while waiting for customers. After the video circulated online, Patong police identified the two drivers, whom were only named by police as Mr. Chanachai and Mr. Jirawish, and they called them in, discussed their behavior, and police questioned the two motorbike taxi drivers about the situation, emphasizing that such behavior reflects poorly on the image of motorcycle taxi drivers in Patong. They received the warning to not repeat the incident, and a record of the incident was created. Both drivers also underwent drug tests, which returned negative results. Afterwards, Patong police later called in several motorbike taxi drivers from around the city. And during that meeting, police spoke about establishing guidelines for organizing public motorcycle taxi queues in Soy Bangla in line with legal requirements. Police also guided the drivers on the legal standards and appropriate conduct expected in their profession. The meeting last followed a slew of violent incidents involving Patong motorbike taxi drivers. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. A study is now being done on the possibility of imposing a new tax on any products that contain salt and fat. The finance ministry is leading the feasibility study into a possible salt and fat tax on snacks, with the aim to reduce sodium and fat consumption among Thai nationals by 30%. A public health advocacy group called Less Salt is reporting that the average Thai national consumes just over 3,600 milligrams of sodium per day much higher than the 2,000 milligrams per day recommended by the World Health Organization, according to the Bangkok Post. High sodium intake is associated with a higher risk of high blood pressure, kidney problems, heart disease, and stroke. The feasibility study by the Finance Ministry is expected sometime in the new year. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. An Israeli tourist has now been fined 5,000 baht and was taken into custody in Kamala after he rode his motorcycle onto Kamala Beach which sparked outrage online after a video of the incident was posted on social media. The video was widely shared on a line group about Kamala Beach, which showed the tourist's motorcycle becoming stuck in the sand. Authorities caught wind of the video and launched an investigation on Tuesday afternoon. Police quickly tracked down the tourist, identified as 30-year-old Amira Midat, who was brought into Kamala Police Station for questioning. Midat admitted to riding on the beach, explaining that he was unaware it was illegal in Thailand, as no visible signs warned against it. He noted that doing so was legal in his country of Israel. After reviewing Midat's international driver's license and confirming his willingness to cooperate with authorities, police issued a 5,000 baht fine for causing a public nuisance. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket officials are gearing up to spotlight the island's cultural heritage with the launch of the Travel Old Town Telling Phuket Tourism Festival. The event, from November 27 to December 1st, will take place at the Dragon Statue on Queen City Kid Park on Talang Road in Phuket Town. Officials and organizers, including Vice Governor Adud Chutong and Rachadapon Oin from the Phuket Office of the Ministry of Tourism, announced the event at a press conference held near the Chartered Bank intersection this past weekend. Known for its Sino-Portuguese architecture, the area offers a captivating blend of arts, culture, and history. The festival, organized under the Phuket Soft Power Initiative, will feature a range of immersive activities designed to give tourists a deep dive into Phuket's culture, including workshops with local artisans, art exhibitions showcasing local talent, light and sound installations at the clock tower scheduled five times nightly, along with cultural performances, guided cultural tours, a temple tour, and an old town street tour, and much more. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. The oldest ship in the Italian Navy 
the Amerigo Vespucci is now on a world tour and is docked at the Phuket Deep Seaport, where it will remain through to this Sunday, November 10th. The Vespucci has opened its decks to visitors with public tours during its stay. However, due to its high popularity, reservations were required to manage visitor flow and all public tours, which are free of charge, are already sold out. The Vespucci embarked on its global tour in 2023 and will continue to make its way around the world into next year. The oldest ship in service in the Italian Navy, the Amerigo Vespucci, was launched in February 22, 1931. After departing Phuket this Sunday, the Vespucci will make its way to India, where it will remain in port in Mumbai from November 28 to December 2nd. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Thank you so much for joining us here on this Wednesday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pbcphuket.com. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.